Welcome to Masada, a mountain that stands 500 meters above the Dead Sea in the middle of the Judean desert. Jews ran away to here in their revolt against the Romans 2,000 years ago. I was always told that the commander of Masada commanded everyone to commit a mass suicide so they don't fall captive in the hands of the Romans. What's Jewish about committing suicide? The truth is, I found out something amazing. Let's go see the true story. Made it to the top of Masada, look at this beautiful view. The Jews hiding in Masada used the buildings that were built by King Herod almost a hundred years earlier. Herod built himself a beautiful palace with an amazing view that was also very safe, surrounded by three cliffs and a big wall behind it. When the Jews look out the window right here, what they see is a Roman camp making a siege. The Romans ended the siege by building this huge ramp and that way they could bring up all the soldiers to the walls, smack down the walls and burst in to Masada. I don't know how they broke it down when they got there because this is a one heck of a hike. So the Romans breached the walls and this is where the story of Josephus doesn't really work out with archaeological findings. Josephus, that was actually a Jewish commander in the revolt that fell in Roman captivity and became a historian for the Roman Empire, writes that all Jews committed suicide. So the Romans burst in according to Josephus and find the place empty, silent. That's the story. What? That's the Jewish way? Commit suicide? What about hope? What about fighting till the end? What about believing in all these prophecies? But the truth is, new research suggests that there was actually a battle on top of Masada. What was once dismissed as a pile of dirt next to King Herod's palace turns out to be a proper Roman ramp. When the Jews are hiding here and fighting against the Romans, they actually go into this palace, they hide behind this wall, and they fight till the end. In this palace, they found three Jewish bodies, including a girl with the braid of hair, sandals, and armor. They fought here in this palace believing that there's hope that Jews are going to return here one day. I know what you're thinking. Why would Josephus write a book and make up a story? But the truth is, Josephus was never on Masada. He was taken to Rome in year 70. Masada fell in year 73. Josephus wrote according to Roman methodology, which is write what you think happened over there. And how did Josephus perceive reality? He saw all around him Jews in slavery. He saw Jerusalem destroyed. He didn't think there was any hope. He thought God left the Jewish people and it's the end. The truth is the Jews that were on Masada, they believed there was hope and that one day they'll return to their homeland. That was Masada. See you next time in another amazing place in Israel.